As an investment banker, I get asked this question all the time. How many hours do you work in a week? Anytime you ask this question, the answer is always going to be, it depends. It can range anywhere from 50 to 100 hours. So in this video, I want to talk about why banking hours are all over the place. I'm just waiting for my Uber right now. It's 11.02. Um, hopefully there's nothing else to do when I go back home. I'm so freaking tired, but at least I got my gym workout in today. On Monday, I left office around 11.30 and worked 14 hours. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, why do you work such long hours? Why I can't work wait till the next day? Why can't you just hire more people? And honestly, these are all really relevant and valid questions. It's all because of the nature of the job where we work very closely with clients and have to accommodate to their tight schedules and irregular hours all the time. Almost 9 p.m. and well, I think it's like 8.30, 8.40 and it's actually still pretty bright now for months. Um, well, just got an email. I swear every time I get home, every time I leave my desk, I get an email. <sighs> Another reason for crazy hours is because of the global nature of this job. Investment banks work with clients and teams across different time zones. This can mean early morning or late night calls and meetings to accommodate to international clients. It's also an extremely competitive environment and sometimes it becomes a numbers game. Whichever bank makes more pitches has a higher chance of securing a client. I just showered and I got like 50 more emails. Well, they're just emails between the clients and our m and team. They're just figuring out executing NDAs for the sales side process that I'm on. Oh my gosh. Well, 51 emails. It looks like it's just more follow-ups to one of our clients that was that's being sent by an MD I'm working with. I was rushing to get work done on this day because I had dinner plans at night and I asked my analyst if I could leave early. Because we didn't have a deadline on the pitch that we were working on, she was pretty cool with me leaving. I was so happy to make it to this Thai diner with my friends because I haven't seen them in 6 months. We just chatted, caught up on life, and then around 9pm I was summoned to go back home to work. Because I was out for about 2 hours, I did work a little bit later into the night until 1am. And it's finally Friday. Friday's a work from home day, so it was pretty chill. I woke up around 10 a.m., did some calls, ate lunch while watching a Korean drama, and then caught up on my chores, did my laundry, and I think I wrapped up around 5 p.m. Saturdays are an off day. Unless you're on an urgent live deal, you don't really have to work. Thank god I didn't have to this weekend. I just went to the gym and then went for a mental health walk at a park nearby. And then for dinner, I went to one of my go-to Korean barbecue spots called Cast Iron. And yes, Sunday is an official work day in investment banking. I worked on a couple of pitch books and just weekend work that I had to catch up on to prepare for meetings for the next day and then wrapped up around 7 p.m. so eight and a half hours of work. And then I went to take a walk and went to this Korean restaurant in Flushing called Ziggle. I didn't get it in this clip but you have to try their mango shaped ice. So good. <laughs> After dinner, I went back home to Brooklyn and just edited videos for the rest of the night for YouTube. As you can see, I worked about 70 to 80 hours this week, but obviously in between that, there were some down times like me going to the gym or me grabbing dinner with my friends. So when bankers say that we work around 80 to 100 hours a week, just know that it's not every single hour you're literally working. Um, it does account for some down times. So 76 hours is... I would say a pretty good estimate of the typical average number of hours that I work at my firm. It is going to be slightly different across different groups, different banks, but it is 
bad com if you were to compare it to a regular 9 to 5 job which is about 40 hours a week I'm an investment banker in New York City and this is